Hi guys, my name is Terry. In this video, I'm going to go through for Vice Additional Mathematics textbook question for Chapter 4, Permutation and Combination, Formative Exercise 4.2. Alright, before we get started, so I hope that if you enjoy this video, kindly like, and if you want to receive notification from our upcoming video, please click subscribe, and uh, please feel free to give comment or, or ask question if certain things that you don't understand, or let us know how we can improve this video presentation. So let's get straight to this. So the first question we're supposed to show that ncr equals to nc n minus r by using the formula. Yeah, in fact, it's quite clear. We can just substitute the formula inside. So I, I think we can just perhaps I I will start on with the right hand side. It's actually easier to start from right compared to the left hand side. Now, if you look at your right hand side. Now, whether you write RHS or not, doesn't matter. Lah. You can just write C N C N minus R. Let us substitute inside. Now, notice uh, your R here. Yeah, this is N C R. So, maybe I'll highlight this for you. Your R here is now this N minus R. So we have to write N minus N minus R bracket factorial, and my R here is now N minus R factorial. I say this again. Eh? Before this is your R, right? Normally we just put R inside. But now this is your R. Maybe I use a color pen here. This is my N minus R now. This is my R now. Is you notice? Okay. So my R is now instead of writing R, I write N minus R. Okay. The moment you subtract, what happened? Uh, N minus N. Maybe N minus N. Maybe I write step by step for you. Right, this will be n minus r factorial, so it's n factorial r factorial n minus r factorial. Yeah, the n and n cancel each other. Now, notice that we can actually interchange this and write n minus r factorial first, followed by r factorial. And this answer is actually the same as this formula here, which is what n c r, which is the same as your left hand side. Okay. Now, if you want to start from the right, move towards the left, you can do that. But it's a bit more difficult because you need to create uh, the n minus r. Let me show you. Uh, you just write this as n minus r, r factorial. So what I meant by it, that is that you need to, number one, let us just interchange this. Number two, you need to create a n minus n minus r factorial. Now, we, we know that Okay, maybe I should put a bracket first before the factorial. This is n minus r factorial. Now you notice this is your r now. So it's the same as nc n minus r. Sorry for the ugliness. Let me just fix this thing. n minus r. Well, this is the same as your right hand side. Okay, you can do that. But it's a bit harder for us to figure this out. I want to figure out uh, that you have to use the n minus bracket n minus r. All right, let's move on to question number Two. Okay, here we have a committee of five. Yeah, shall be selected, elected uh, out of five men, five women. So uh, five men, sorry, three women. So find number of ways a committee can be formed if there's no condition. Now, if you have no condition, you can choose any one of the men and women, right? So you have total eight of them, and you can choose any one of them. And in fact, you want to find a committee of five. So it's out of eight, I choose any 5 and you type in the calculator 8c5 is just 56 all right moving on to b if it contains three men and th two women okay picture this i have five men three women but i want to choose exactly three men and two women so the number of ways you can write this as five choose any three and three women i choose any two now remember we have to multiply. Why? Because you're choosing the man and the woman at the same time. Yeah, it occurs uh, simultaneously. Now, this is how I explain to my student. Right. If you type 5C3 in a calculator, what is 5C3 in a calculator? 5C3 is just 10. So there are 10 ways to choose the man. Okay, maybe I play this out for you. Man, there are 10 ways, right? So it can be A, B, C, a, B, D, A, B, E, or any five of them. And woman, you have uh, three of them. Maybe the woman's the names are Alpha, Beta, Gamma, whatever. Oh, but I only want to choose two of them. Uh, so I have to put Alpha, Beta, Alpha, Gamma, 
beta gamma and so on. Uh. Now, 5C3 is actually 10. So there are 10 different combinations here. And 3C2 is actually 6. So there are 6 different combinations. You can match them up, right? Yeah. So how many ways you can match up? There are 10 of ways to arrange or to choose the man and 6 ways to choose the woman. And when they occur simultaneously, you multiply together. Your answer is whoop, whoop, whoop. 3C2 is 3, not 6, sorry. This is 3. And answer is just 30. Okay, so there are actually three ways, yeah? Now, next one. If it contains not more than one woman. So now I'll list out five men, three women. Not more than one woman means you can have zero women. You can have one. Uh, sorry, one woman. Maybe I just write zero, one. I don't have to put, yeah, the woman. Here, I will put five and four. So the number of ways is this. Uh, now we have to consider two cases. Case number one. Out of five men, I choose all five. Out of three women, I choose none. Now whether you want to write three choose none or not doesn't really matter because three choose none is actually one way. Anything C0 is actually one. Now at the same time, sorry, should I just use the word? Or I can also take out of five men, I choose four. Out of three women, I choose one. Now, why do I explain this just now? Because I want you to understand the difference between and and or. And means it happens simultaneously, right? If I choose a man, I must choose a woman, so we multiply. Or means it is either this or that. It's just different combination that I can add them up. So that's why I have to, yeah, plus instead of multiply. All right, so let's calculate this. This one you can just do one shot actually, but just write down the answer. 5C5 is 1, 3C0 is 1, so we multiply together is 1. 5C4 is actually 5. 5C3, a uh, 3C1 is actually 1. 5 times 3 is 15. When they add up, the total is 60. Alright? Okay? I hope you can see the difference between multiply and plus. Okay? Or N versus O. Okay, let's look at the next one. Team of 5 members will be selected for a uh, for an exped expedition uh, to an island from a group of four swimmers and three non-swimmers. So find number of ways in which the team can be formed if the swimmer must be more than the non-swimmer. Okay, same thing. Uh. So you've got four swimmer and you have three non-swimmer. Non-swimmer, I just put the S with a bar. Like you can put NS if you like or N. So you want to have more swimmer than non-swimmer. Yeah, so the swimmer can save the non-swimmer from drowning, right? Three and two. Total must be 5. So this is, you can write like this, right? case number 1, I can choose 3 swimmer and 2 non-swimmer. Case number 2, I can choose a 4 swimmer and 1 non-swimmer. My total is also 5, right? Because I have a team of 5. So the number of ways will be 4 swimmer, I choose 3. 3 non-swimmer, I choose 2. 4 swimmer, I choose 4. 3 non-swimmer, I choose 1. So you just work it out. Uh, 4C3 is actually 4, this is 3, this is 1, this is 3. Now you don't have to count 1 by 1. Eh? This is actually 12 times 12 plus 3, 15. Yeah? So there are 15 ways to choose them. Alright, moving on to question number 4. So here we have a mathematics test consists of 10 questions. We have 4 of them are questions from trigonometry, 6 from algebra. So out of 10, you have... 4 from Trigo, 6 Algebra, okay? So candidates are required to answer only 8 questions. Total question is 8, okay? Find the number of ways in which a candidate can answer the question if he answers at least 4 from Algebra. Now, when you say at least 4 from Algebra, means you can answer 4, 5, or all 6. So you need to consider 3 cases. Case number 1, if I answer 4 questions from Algebra, in order to get total 8, I must answer 4 from Trigonometry. Now, if I answer 5, case number 2, from algebra, then I must answer 3 from trigonometry. And if I answer 6 from algebra, I must answer 2 from trigonometry, so that my total is always 8. Alright, now let, let's write down the answer. 4 trigo, I choose 4. 6 algebra, I choose 4. 4 trigo, I choose 3. 6 algebra, I choose 5. 
four trigo I choose two six algebra I choose all six so just add them out you can count one by one right we'll add them up okay uh, 4c1 is 4 this is 150 this is 15 this is 3 sorry this is 4 4 times 6 24 this is 6 times 1 which is 6 45 okay 30 plus 15 45 all right last question right a delegation to Malacca consists of 12 people has been planned find a number of ways to provide transport for these 12 passengers if three cars are used and each car can accommodate four people all right so here's the thing we are uh, all these are combination because we are not talking about arrangement of you know who sits where right we just want to put uh, 12 people in three cars now each car can sit four people so uh, you can think this way uh, the first car the second car the third car okay so first of all I have 12 people to begin with all right so I need to put four people in the first car all right then after that I have to put four people in the second car and lastly four in the third so we start off with 12 all right so you can say out of the 12 I choose first four to put in the first car now once I've chosen four people out I'm left with eight to put in the second car so we say eight choose four now after I've taken four out I've chosen four out I'm left with the last four now the last four don't really have any choice they have to see with each other right so it's four choose four so when you multiply together please use your calculator this is a big number three four six five zero okay so that is if you choose to arrange or should I say put them in three cars okay but if I have two vans all right now each van can accommodate six people so same concept out of 12 but first I choose the first six going to the first van okay and the remaining six has to sit in the second van right and answer is 12 c6 times 6 c6 answer will be 9 to 4 all right so this is pretty short uh, uh, practice okay so before you go yep just so you know we have a collection of workbooks uh, uh, modules with video tutorial pass your questions right that uh, we've written right so if you're interested to get more practice exercises you can or even the 10 hour tuition classes you can contact us our number here as well as or even whatsapp us uh, visit our website find out more information all right recently we launched a, a new book additional mathematics form for drill practice it is a book with question example with solution yeah step-by-step -step solution and practices with increased level of difficulty yeah? so and this book is about 350 over pages okay and it comes with a solution book right so this is yeah when you get stuck you want to refer to the solution they are all here you can see all right so if you're interested in all this you can yeah get in touch with us or go to our shopee website uh, shopee site yeah and you can order all this book yeah and it's sent directly to your doorstep thank you very much for watching i hope to see you in the next video bye bye